Howdy champs, my name is Mohidin People. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a remote server. What do I mean by setting up a remote server? And uh, we'll do it through Dreamweaver itself. Although we can do it uh, with uh, a free client like FileZilla 2, which has been uh, my favorite since a long, long time. Setting up a remote server basically means uh, that now we are actually ready to upload files from your local machine and publish it to uh, the world to the internet to the web wide world okay that's uh, basically what I mean by um, setting up a remote server so pushing the files from here to your hosting uh, your host your, uh, where you actually host all your files right it's as simple as that uh, before you even do that people uh, you need to make sure that you define your folder as the local site folder if you already haven't done that now this is my local site folder it's called AIGC it's actually located on the desktop people and this is the folder that I'm gonna upload to the server or my host okay and uh, the settings uh, that are involved uh, is the, the whole process is actually called setting up a remote server so we can push the files from the local machine to the remote server so that the world is actually able to see your website the way they should. Uh, the website, I've already taken the domain, is AIGC.in. Since there's not a single file uh, up out there, uh, you get the default message or the default uh, screen actually appears given by the, the host itself. So clearly says go to your control panel and upload your website. Right. We haven't uploaded uh, any files yet. That is the way, uh, reason why we actually see this message. So let's start doing it. Uh, through Dreamweaver itself right uh, if you already haven't uh, defined your local site folder we'll, we're gonna do that basically the working folder so we'll say new site <coughs> I'm gonna call it AIGC or you could have uh, given it a different name to suit yourself point two the AIGC folder on the desktop in your case it could be a different folder located somewhere else let's say open and select right thereafter people you can uh, get into the advanced settings if you actually want it or you could have just left them as is uh, I'm gonna leave most of the settings at default I'm gonna go to cloaking cloaking allows you to exclude uh, you know specified files and folders from all site operations basically when you upload all your files these won't be uploaded so if I cloak files ending with flap, PST or any other extension people they'll not be excluded from all site operations. It's a good option. I'm gonna check it on. Design notes are basically notes that are associated with uh, different files. I'm gonna show you exactly what they mean. You can clean up your design notes or you can enable upload design notes for sharing. Okay, or you can in fact let's do it. I'm gonna show you very soon what design notes are and other options people you can just uh, leave them at defaults and let's say save I said I'm about, about to show you how you can create notes uh, associated with the file see this is uh, these are the local files uh, right and if I let's say right click out here and you see there's an option design notes out here so it basically allows you to associate notes with a specified file right okay so let's start uh, creating the remote server now so let's go back to site manage site uh, this was the local site that I created uh, moments ago let me double click and this time I'm gonna go to servers people add the remote server click on the plus button the server name again could be anything I'm gonna call it AIGC now connect using FTP you're gonna leave it at default people port 21 please leave it at default absolutely fine the FTP address uh, usually is your website uh, name in my case AIGC.in but uh, all the information the username the password etc uh, you should grab it from your hosting account alrighty in my case the username is this in your case it could be something else again check up with your hosting 
uh, account get inside the control panel check up all the details when you purchase the hosting uh, they give you a lot of information with the you know on purchase itself and it should be there in the email or you can get inside the control panel of your hosting account again uh, you can get all the information the password in my case is you can be sure I'm not gonna divulge <laughs> all right uh, again check your hosting account people your control panel and the root directory in my case is a folder called AIGC.in in the, the the root directory in your case it could be something uh, else again get inside the control panel of your hosting account check it up if you're not sure uh, email them call them get the FTP address username password and the root directory okay and uh, now that I've entered all the information I'm ripe to test and see if all the information provided is correct so test the remote connection let's see if I get a thumbs up let's see if the local machine can actually see the uh, remote server and Dreamweaver actually gives me a thumbs up everything is just fine uh, it's actually messed up the web URL I'm gonna revert alright so let's save the settings up and say save again a cache will be created okay you can just say okay out here and done out here people you're actually done uh, you have set up the or we have set up the remote server now there are 10 files out here that need to be uploaded to the remote server and you see how easy it is to do it uh, all you need to do is there's an up arrow key basically stands for put you just click on the up arrow key it will ask if you would want to put up the entire site uh, onto the remote server you're gonna say yes and one by one all the 10 files will get uploaded to your hosting account your hosting company your server basically I'm just waiting for a confirmation yes so as you can very clearly see uh, Dreamweaver checks with you if you want to put up the entire site yes I would or oh, people what you can do is uh, you can go one by one see uh, you know you can just right click and say put put means to push up or upload get means to get from the server right and you can see six of ten files uh, have been uploaded we're in the process of uploading now nine of ten are done and ten of ten are actually done now so basically the whole site has been uploaded uh, no files have been downloaded because we have, we've used the put option not the get option people as I said you can uh, go one by one too right and uh, now if I instead of the local view change this view to the a remote server you'll see the files are just the same the local machine and the remote server they have the same 10 files now okay if I click on this uh, icon it will show me both the uh, remote server as well as the local files these are the local files this is the remote server and they are absolutely the same which clearly uh, shows that my site has been uploaded in fact I can check it up if I go to my website AIGC.in and if I refresh you should see those 10 files out there All right basically there was nothing inside the site except there was a menu out there which is actually functional now right so people it's that easy to set up a remote server but uh, setting up the remote server isn't difficult but you should be absolutely sure of the settings and you can actually go get inside the control panel you should check the email that was shot when you first purchased the um, the hosting right if you're absolutely not sure you can uh, call them up you can email them up and grab all the details people instead of using uh, team viewer people you can also use uh, something like filezilla right now filezilla uh, you just need to put the username password the port always defaults to 21 you can actually skip that the host is the same as mm, I'll show you it's the same as FTP address right which usually is the uh, website name fine so people uh, 
use uh, FileZilla or use Dreamweaver and uh, I suggest that you get uh, FileZilla from FileHippo.com what you can do is you can go to FileHippo.com in the search field just type FTP hit enter and you'll get a list of all uh, many uh, you know free FTP clients like Qt FTP etc um, etc et my personal favorite has always been FileZilla give it a try too all right, people. So I hope you found this information useful. Uh, I hope you'll thumb the video up. I hope you'll subscribe, and I'll also hope that you'll keep coming up for more and more tutorials from me. Won't you? You have a good day. Bye bye. Peace.